Hi guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Lumi Groomy Poodle. It's super adorable and I love it. I finally got it to like an actual size that's actually small because my other ones, I would, you know, make them smaller but they were still, you know, pretty big. So I'm glad that I got this to a decent, you know, pretty small size. It looks really good. So we're going to be making that today. And we're going to be doing the legs first. They're pretty easy, really tiny. So let's get started. So um, first, you're gonna get some orange bands, and we're going to do a magic ring of four stitches, and you're gonna do bird bands on this magic ring. So just wrap a band around your hook like this, and then um, wrap a band. Well, just basically like a cat band, like this, and this take a band through it. And then through the cap band. I mean, and through. Oh my god, I'm making this ring. I hope you guys understand. Um, I think a lot of you already know how to do stuff like this, so I don't. I don't know if I need to do too much explaining. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna do you know, simple fur bands on it. I hope this is not confusing anyone. Um, this video probably will also be a two-parter because my storage is terrible. I'm hoping to upgrade my phone and then I'm going to buy a lot more, um, like, device storage with it because I don't really want to do part twos. I just want to do it all in one, but I can't. So that sucks, but hopefully I can get it worked out. So you should have four, and then we're, I'm not going to use a clip for this because it's, like, pretty easy, but we're just going to, again, after you do the magic and four, just do a single crochet around so you just have four stitches at the end of this round and we're doing fur bands on this too so just a normal single crochet row around I would do not want this to be super long, but it probably will be because I'm like super slow, honestly. Okay, so then once you've done all of this, um, now we're going to be switching to orange and it's just going to be a single crochet around and we're going to do this for three rounds so um yeah so just a normal single crochet your next color and yeah it's pretty easy um I need more. so i don't use a clip for this one because it's not a lot of bands and it's kind of just easy to count along um, and like keep up with the rows when it's not a lot. If you see me just grabbing like another stitch, I'd do that in case there could be gaps in it because I don't like when there's gaps. So I usually just like grab the back of one of the stitches and just use it in case there's a gap right there so it doesn't have it. If you're wondering why I keep doing that. Because sometimes with tiny stuff there's gaps sometimes and I hate that. So now we're on our last round, so you should have done three. Can't get my hook to that stitch. Okay. Um, oopsie. Your last band just slipped on it. So you should have done three rounds of this, and then you're going to make three more to make four legs. I'm going to show you how to do um, the ears. <laughs> so again, for the ears, we're gonna do a magic ring of four and we're putting wrap bands on it. So do your wrap bands. If you hear talking in the background, it's either my TV or my iPad because I'm on a call while doing this. 
I'm doing this actually pretty late because I was supposed to do it earlier and like I'm always like I'm gonna film I'm gonna film and then I don't and I was like at least need to film part one of it um and then at least get that part out there and then do part two because I'm like always really slow with this because like I'm usually I play a lot of Roblox now because I play Survive the Killer like all the time that's like my favorite game so if you guys play Survive the Killer, you should like add me and we can totally play. <laughs> okay, so you should have a magic ring of four stitches. And then go into this next stitch, but instead of doing this orange right here, we're going to switch colors. So get whatever color that you're using. And you're just going to go into the next stitch over. And just do a loose slip knot, and then we're going to turn it around like this and the first orange stitch that you see go into it and do a single crochet and then, then we're going to turn it back around again and we're going to do a single crochet in this one but we're doing a total of like three rows for this so just get three bands is all we're going to need three bands and then we're just going to go back and forth so single crochet in this one flip and then single crochet and then flip again and on the last one just um I grabbed an extra band. <laughs> on the last one just slip knot the stitch and boom you're done and then you can either do a slip knot on it you need to add one more to attach it so you can either do a slip knot like right on that last stitch but I usually just go beside it on these loops on the side like on one of them and just slip knot it on the side of it and then you're just going to attach it like that so once you've done this just make um another one so you have a total of two ears okay so now i'm going to be making a tail so it's pretty much the same thing that we've been doing before we're going to make a magic ring of four stitches make sure to add your fur bands and we're just going to do a magic ring. I feel like I'm so slow at doing this and I shouldn't be, but I am. Okay, so once you have your magic ring done, we're going to do um, one row of single crochet around this magic ring. So just a row of single crochet. So four bands. You have four stitches at the end, and just add your four bands. I hope this you can like see what I'm doing, and I'm not confusing you, because I'm so trying to get better, and hopefully. Um, my chores be better, way better, have a better setup. I think I'm gonna try ordering a tripod soon because I think that'll be better, and maybe like a table because I keep doing it on my dresser. So, once you've done this, this is when we're gonna do something completely different. Basically, you're going to go back into this stitch, the stitch that's right by so this okay so this band on your hook go into the stitch right behind that band and pick it up and then go across from it and grab like just go like straight across like that and grab the next um loop and we're going to be switching colors so you can do the tail as long as you want and this is a little different so um i can remember how many did i chain i think i did four i think i did four or five something okay so get a band double it and just take it through um everything even this band so all of it so and then it comes like this and you have this on your hook and then just keep chaining so just keep doubling a band, keep chaining for as long as you want this tail I'm only gonna chain it like five or six times so um that's how long I do my tail I think I did five Oops. I'm gonna add one more. Six. 
two. Oops. And then one more. So I think I chained like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I did six. And then next what we're gonna do is just take a loose band, take it through all of it, and just leave it like this because we're gonna use this to attach the tail. So that's how I use the tail. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this fur part, the fur that goes on top of the head. So I've already done it, but just do a magic ring of six stitches and make sure you add your fur bands to it. And then next we're just going to be doing two single crochets in the increase. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're just doing two single crochets in the increase to eight stitches. So here's one single crochet. And then here's two single crochet. And then we're gonna do an increase. So an increase is just two bands in one stitch. Oops, I did that. And then we're just going to repeat that again. Two single crochets and an increase. So um, two single crochets and an increase and yeah the last stitch should be the last stitch should be an increase. And then so then we're done. Um on the last one this is the end, so slip not the last band. Oops. Like that, and then you're just gonna add slip knots around it. I think I did three. One, two, no, one, two, yeah. So I usually just skip two stitches, like I skip this one, and I skip this one, and then I'll go into the third one. And I'll just slip knot. Um, but you can add as many as you want, and then I'll skip like another one, two, and then I'll go in this one, because I think I only did three slip knots for this one, three or four, but you can add as many as you want, so just do slip knots around it, because that's what we're going to use to attach it to the head. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you how to do the fur part that's on the body, and so first you need to make a magic ring of six stitches which i've already done remember we're doing fur bands for this whole thing so and then we're going to do a single increase to nine so we're just going to do single increases around so once you've done your matching of six just do a single increase so single and an increase which an increase is two bands and one stitch hoping this video will be too long because then it's not going to let me download it and I won't upload it because my storage is terrible. 64 gigs on the iPhone. Terrible. I'm definitely, when I get a new phone, I'm definitely getting more storage on it. I'm hoping to get a 12, probably that, or I might just get a new 11 with more stores because I do like the iPhone 11, but to me, like, I don't know if it's, like, I mean, other people's phones probably have the same thing, like, like, the iPhone 11 has, like, battery issues, so that's another thing that I really want to just upgrade it to something else because I'm having troubles with that, so I guess the timing works out. Um, now we're on our last stitch your last stitch should be an increase we should be at 9 stitches and I'm going to check the pattern real quick but I'm pretty sure we go 12 after this 
Oh well, yeah, after you go to nine stitches, we're going to go to 12, which is going to be a two single crochet increase. So one single crochet. Two single crochet and then on the third stitch we're gonna do an increase. And then we're just gonna do that again all the way around. So my birthday is coming up. My birthday is August 18th and I'm really excited about that because I'm turning 19. Oh my god, I feel so old even though I'm not. Um, which I'm really excited for that. And it's like, the time feels like it's flown by so fast. Like, like super fast. It just feels the time just goes by faster and faster every day. Miss me. And like turning 19 is just like oh my god like <laughs> like oh my god i feel so old sometimes and it's just like you're not old but it feels that way every time <laughs> okay so on your um last one i'm gonna do an increase So after this increase, we're just going to do a single crochet around in single crochet around and you should have 12 stitches. So I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm just gonna do some of it with you, not the whole thing. So again, just one a row of single crochet around and you should have 12 stitches at the end. So it's just um your wrap bands of uh, and through the wrap band and through the um, loom part and you're just going to do it all the way around just normal single crochet which is just one band in each loop so I'm going to do one more so I'll catch you guys on the way back it's only one round so I'll be right back so I'm back and now after you've done your run row your one row of single crochet around you should have, still have 12 stitches and then now all we're going to be doing is two single crochets and a decrease back to nine stitches so two single crochets one oops okay one two and then decrease so you can decrease how you want but i usually just take the whole loop of the first one the whole loop, second one and then just decrease them together so i'll show you one more time and i'll be right back after that because i don't want these clips to be too long so two single crochets and a decrease so one and then a decrease so I'll be back once I've done this and you should have nine stitches at the end and when you get to the end so not your last bit so once you've done all once you've done your two single okay, two single crochets and a decrease I keep it so nice. Um, you slip not your last band and you should have nine and then we're done with this so you need all the little bitty um not little bitty but the little i'm not the little like the parts for the body that's gonna go on it and 
go on the head. So he's made all that. So this is for part one, and for part two, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the head and the body. And then I probably would do a part three for this one too, and then part three will be attaching everything if I can't fit all of it in part two. The whole pattern will be in the description, so you can just, if you don't wanna wait for the tutorial to come out, you can just go ahead and just do everything at once um, for those who just wanna read by the pattern. But thank you guys for watching this part one of the poodle tutorial and yeah see you guys for part two